Hello, my name is Jun Park. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, key workflow steps associated with our millicell plates. Uh, we're also going to give a particular emphasis to some of the key uh, access port features that are built into uh, these millicell plates. Our millicell culture plates are essentially membrane plates with membranes with defined pore sizes and having about 10 micron membrane thickness. These are used for various cell-based assays by enabling creation of in vitro model systems. Some of the well-known examples would be air liquid interface for lung, blood-brain barrier, KCO2 for intestinal barrier models. These plates can be also used to create cellular migration and invasion models as well. As you can see, these come in either 24 or 96 well format. Let me show you the individual components. Once you remove the cover, you will see the filter plate itself with associated basolateral access port to the side. Underneath it, you will find receiver plate which comes in two flavors. One is a single well feeder tray which enables all the wells to be fed from one type of media present in basolateral media. Usually, these are used for initial culturing of the cells. The other is multi-well receiver plate, which will enable individualized treatment of each wells just like a regular multi-well plate. Usually, these are used for the actual assay, where different wells need to be treated differently. Now let's go over how we set up a typical experiment using these plates. First, we'll add appropriate cells into the wells. For 24-well plate, we recommend 400 microliter of media containing appropriate number of cells per well. For 96-well plate, we recommend 75 microliter of media containing appropriate cells per well. Now we can add media to the basal lateral side of the membrane. In general, it is easier to use a single well feeder plate for initial growth of cells and then replace it with appropriate multi-well receiver plates for assays. We recommend 250 microliter or 800 microliter per well for multi-well 96 and 24 well receiver plates, respectively. For single well feeder tray, we recommend 22 to 28 milliliter of media. Once cells are seeded and appropriate media added to the basal lateral side, plates can now be put into an incubator for desired culturing period. This can vary depending on the type of assay. For example, for a typical KCO assay, there will be uh, about 21 days of culturing, whereas for barrier assays using MDCK cells, the cells will be ready for assay within a week. Now let's go over how we can perform media exchange to ensure healthy growth of cells during culturing. There are several ways media can be exchanged when using millicell culture plates. Today, we'll go over a typical manual method to demonstrate the key features. However, as you will see these work steps, it can be easily translated into automation-based workflow. Please contact us for any dimensional requirement, such as pipetting heights, for setting up your automation. If you're using single well feeder tray, basal lateral media can be removed from any of the access port built into the side of the plate. If you're using multi-well receiver plate, basal lateral media can be removed from individual wells by using basal lateral access port associated with wells. Now let's go over how we can move media from apical side without worrying about touching the cells or the membrane itself during media exchange. Millicell culture plate have patented feature called apical assist, which introduces small membrane-free area to the bottom side of the membrane well. By directing my pipette tip or manifold into the area using the guide feature, I can now ensure that my cells growing on top of the membrane will not be disturbed during apical media exchange. Obviously, this will also prevent any accidental membrane puncture or scratching during media exchange. 
once media is uh, separated out, I now simply add back appropriate volume of media back, and the plate can be placed back into the tissue culture incubator. By repeating these steps as needed, you can culture your cells for the desired duration as dictated by your assay needs. Now you have it. If you have any questions, uh, please put questions below and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.